everybody, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. No, 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 I'm Shizuka Anderson. I'm an imposter. Yeah, that's right. But um, you're also a very important guest today. This is Frank, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and Frank is our ramen expert. So um, thanks for doing the intro for me. <laughs> yeah, sorry I stole the spotlight. It's all good, it's all good. We have a lot good. of fans <laughs> probably nudging down. Um, hopefully you didn't, you know, thumbs down the, the first bit. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, I'm really feeling like eating ramen today. So I'd love to hear what your recommendations are. Yes, so there's a great ramen shop here in Shibuya called Oni Soba Fujiya Premium. Ooh. And that premium, I think, is the key word because we're going to be having lobster miso ramen. <gasps> That sounds amazing, it's but really good. lobster ramen. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. No, it's pretty rare. Yeah, and expensive possibly? You would think so, but not that expensive actually. Lobster ramen at an affordable price. That sounds fantastic. Well, without further ado, let's, let's go it. give it a try. Let's go. So we're now inside the restaurant, Oni Soba Fujiya Premium. It's a very long name. It is a long name. <laughs> um, but it's a really nice little shop. It's got a whole bunch of floors up here. Um, but yeah, really comfortable. And I'm super excited to try the ramen. Yes. But first, the reason why we're here today is because you guys wanted to see more ramen videos. And you ask, of course, we deliver. So that's why we're making a ramen video today. But not only that, we're also gonna be making a new ramen series on Japan by Food. And it's gonna be hosted by Frank because he is our ramen expert. And there is information that Frank has about ramen that I just cannot give to you guys. So, I mean, I'd love to learn more about ramen for you today. Eating is the most important part, so I'll take care of the rest. Yes, exactly. So you guys can look forward to the new series on Japan by Food. Please check it out with ramen expert Frank. I'd love to hear more about your background because um, did you grow up in Tokyo? Yes, so grew up in Tokyo. I've uh, been here pretty much my whole life. Uh, oh, you're Filipino born? Filipino and American, yeah. Born Filipino raised. American, but born and raised here. <gasps> I see, okay. Have you been a ramen lover your whole life? I think, like, as an adult, like, a stronger love for ramen developed, let's say. Mm. But, you know, probably like yourself, eating it, you know, as a kid, maybe not um, thinking about the different kinds as much, you know, whether it was, like, instant or the more basic forms. And then as an adult, like, wow, there's so many different ramens, having a greater yes. appreciation for it, let's say. Usually, how many bowls of ramen do you eat? Like, do you eat a, a ton of ramen? I upped, like, so let's say, like, per year, right? Mm -hmm. um, it would be anywhere from maybe 300 to f going over 400 if you include uh, instant ramen as well. So on average one a day. But I think what's cool about ramen is, you know, I mean, we could talk about this for days, but there's so many different varieties, right? So there are lighter ramens, uh, mm -hmm. you, know, you maybe have a light uh, salt or soy sauce seasoned ramen mm -hmm. that wouldn't have as many calories as um, you know, a mountain, a mountainous ramen with a lot of pork fat, that kind of thing. So it, could, it can depend on the ramen. But it That's does add true. up. It does add up. That's so. true. You can also, you know, select your toppings accordingly. Yes. Maybe opt for more vegetables if you want to go a little bit exactly. healthier. No, balance is key. Absolutely. It, I think it definitely is. But I mean, the main reason we eat ramen is because it's delicious. So you don't need to worry about it too much, I think. But anyway, um, we've chatted a little bit. I think we've gotten to know Frank a little bit better. Um, I'd love to hear what you recommend for ramen yes. today. So this place, Onisoba Fujiya Premium, the word premium again, mm -hmm. they are known for their lobster miso ramen. So we have to get at least one of those. Very premium. Yes. Super premium. Okay, so we've got, uh, I can yeah, see a, a number of, of ram uh, lobster ramen. What is one of the best to choose so today? So I would say, you know, we can go with the lobster miso itself, or Ooh. if you want to top up and get more chashu pork slices Ooh. go bigger than there's av available as well. Go big or go home, go right? Go big or go home, there you right? go. <laughs> I think we have to do that one then. Very excited. 
exciting. And I think for this one, why don't we switch it up? You can customize this too here, but this, uh, they also do like a lighter salt seasoned ramen. So I think instead of the miso, we can change this one. So we'll keep the spice, but we'll have it salt seasoned instead. That'll be a nice contrast with the miso. That sounds amazing. I love that you can customize here. I nope, guess the, a lot, yeah. the owner seems really like a cool guy. So. No, he's very cool. <laughs> awesome. So let's try the spicy one with a salt based let's do it. broth. Mm, let's do it. with our enormous lobster ramen. This is incredible. I cannot believe how big this, this lobster is. Massive. is. This, is um, this is bigger than last time too. Like the lobsters that they're using are from uh, Mie. And these are much bigger. They take up like the whole bowl. I it's know. Crazy. I've never seen anything like it before. And the crazy thing is this costs less than 2,000 yen. Yes. Unbelievable. Open. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can just take <laughs> the shell out. I know, just a little bit of a shell, but why do you want to make a shell? Oh, it's a New York Grand Prix. 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 ロブスターが非常にみんな好きやって聞いたんで、鶏パイタンもすごくあの売れてると聞いたんで,で、ニューヨークですごく今、ニューヨーク、鶏パイタンみんな好きだったんで、それとロブスターと鶏パイタン混ぜて、そこに日本の味噌、やっぱ日本らしさをそこに合体させて、ニューヨークらしさ、日本らしさ、合体させたスープっていうので、その大会出て優勝したんです。優勝されたんですか、はいうん、すごい、はい、キャビアと秋田の山の実や秋田の山の実の山の中のキャビアって言われてるものですよ木の実ですこれ木の実なんですかキャビア風にしたものですねすここにオマールエビのあの味噌頭の部分、はい、ここに入ってる部分を煮詰めたやつをあのソースでかけましたそうなんですかすごい、はい、ありがとうございます、はい、どうもありがとうございます、はい、Alright, so we are now Aproned up, yes. ready to dig in to this delicious, luxurious lobster ramen. Ooh, yours looks so spicy. What is the best way to enjoy a ramen? Well, there's not, you know, what I like about the ramen industry is it's it's not, it's quite laid back, right? Mm -hmm. But there are a few pointers maybe that can help you enjoy the meal a bit more. But Ooh. I do think starting with the soup is important. That's where a lot of the effort goes into. So All start right. with the soup. Let's give it a try. Okay. Whoa! You are right. It's just so rich and so thick and very creamy, which is not what I was expecting from a miso ramen, but you get this miso salty flavor as well. It's really condensed and you get this seafood lobster aftertaste. How's yours? This is good. So this is very different from what you described. This is quite light and you get a lot more chicken. There are also some seafood elements. So not as much of the miso where that's like a super concentrated miso slash lobster flavor. This is lighter, a little bit more chicken, some other fish. Oh. I think this would be a good one to get. Uh, so heavier, lighter, they've got everything. Here. Yes, it depends on your taste. Um, if you want something really rich and you know thick and creamy, then this is the one. Um, but I'm also interested in that because it looks is, spicy and this delicious. This is good too. Um, the spice, it is that kind of spice that hits your, you know, throat. throat. Yeah. <laughs> I can also eat spicy food, but if it was me, it's like the moment I drink the soup, it's like... <laughs> I was holding in the cough. Yeah, that would have happened. <laughs> I'm just holding it back. So what is the next step? So the next ramen. step, yeah, it's pretty much just jumping into the noodles. You know, you can have some toppings if you like. There's Being so a, much in this bowl. There is. The there toppings be, are pulling it back down. <laughs> Weighed it down. Kind of, All right, I'm going to give it a try. What's the bread? Oh my goodness. The noodles are so chewy as well. They're really thick, really chewy. How is yours? Really good. Um, yeah, same awesome chewy noodles. 
when you bite into them, they fight back a little bit, right? Yes. Even though we've been talking, you know, they're <laughs> still maintaining that firmness, right? Let's try the giant lobster. Mm. Mmm, so good. It's so juicy. I always say this in like every video, but it's pooty pooty. And that's the yeah. sign of a good, you know, crustacean. Yeah, you don't want it too soft, a little bit of that fight back again. Exactly. And it's got a smokiness too, right? Because he broiled basically everything, including the chashu. So if we... You're right though, it's yeah, nice and about. seared on the side. Okay, let's give this a try. Here we go. Mmm. 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 It is so fatty and so melt in your mouth. Soft and just delicate. There's also eggs in here. Yeah. Oh. Ramen eggs. But with caviar on top. Yes. I've never had this before. I don't even know if I've had caviar before. Really? This is your first time to have caviar? Wow. Yes. Savor it, yeah. Um, okay. Interested in seeing what this tastes like. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. Mmm. That's good. Like, you know, the caviar, you've got that little, like, bubble popping like texture, right? Kind of like in your yep. mouth. And then there was a lobster sauce, too. And the lobster sauce is strong, uh, right? So that, so that was, was the darker um, uh, sauce there. So you get a right. lot of those lobster notes still. Right. Another reminder, like, hey, you're still eating lobster ramen, right? <laughs> it kind of brings you back. And then. That's what it was. That's yeah. what I was so confused about. I was like, is this caviar or is this just, why does it taste like lobster? <laughs> Everything. Um, yeah. We're going to leave the ramen restaurant. We're going to see lobsters everywhere. I think it's just the oh lobster God. theme, really. I'm just going to try the umi. Mm. That's really good. Yeah, somehow luxury stacked on top of luxury. Mm. Well, that ramen was so delicious and so filling. Thank you so much for introducing me to this no, place. Thanks, uh, thanks for coming along. Um, that was, yeah, amazing ramen. Oh man, no, it was Absolutely. my pleasure because I often walk down this street. It's such a popular street, but it's so hidden in plain sight that I've never thought to come in here before. So. Yeah, I wouldn't have found it without you, actually. So thank you. Yeah, it's a great place. <laughs> thank you. And also, um, if you guys want more ramen, and if you want to know more amazing hidden gems in Tokyo for ramen, Frank is your guy. So make sure to check out the series on Japan by Food that's coming up. There's even a really cool ramen coming up soon, which is like an extra super amazingly meaty ramen. Yeah, the, we're going to two places. So one is like all about the chashu pork, as, as we had today, right? A little yeah. thinner slice, but very much a floral pattern. Second place, mm. they're showcasing different kinds of meat, not just pork, but also chicken and sometimes even duck. <gasps> chicken and me. duck and pork, <clears throat> sometimes in the same ramen? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Taking it to the next level. It's like a farm in one bowl, exactly. if you're into that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. So if you guys want to find even more amazing hidden ramen gems in Tokyo, Frank is definitely your guy. So make sure to check out the ramen series on Japan by Food for sure. And I may even pop by sometimes. Is that all right? Of course, you're more than welcome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. We'll have more ramen that way. We can yeah. sample different types of ramen. Absolutely. Exactly. That's the way to do it. So anyway, anyway, look forward to those videos. And if you want to have some personalized ramen tours, um, Frank also does tours for Japan by Food as well. So the links will be down below. Anyway, thanks so much again, and see you guys in the next episode of Japan by Food. Bye!